Hi guys, welcome to Pilates with Hena and today will be the body slimming Pilates workout. The more muscles you work, the more calories you burn. And because of that, we are going to focus on all the major muscles on your body, including your arms, your core and your legs. So when you're ready, just roll on your mat and let's begin. All right, so let allow yourself to come to own four position. Open your arms shoulder apart and your legs hip width apart here. Now I want you to inhale, put your shoulder far away, lengthen your neck, look down to the mat, imagining that you have two eyes on the elbows. So rotate it to facing each other. Inhale, engage your core and articulate your spine. Look up. Exhale, chin to chest, rise your spine. And articulate each vertebra at a time. Put your shoulder down, inhale. Exhale slowly with your own breath and bone by bone. So I want you to squeeze in your thighs and contract your pelvic floor muscle here. And press your lower leg down to the mat. Keep breathing. We're going to do it three more times. Inhale, round your spine. And exhale, reverse. And two. Contract your pelvic floor muscle belly button in to support your lower back. And last one. Route and articulate, look up and bring your back back to neutral. Very good. Now from here, I want you to keep your heels and your knee together. Make sure you engage your core and still keep your back in neutral. Now, dorsiflex, tuck your feet here. So bring your leg up and exhale, bring it down. And we try to do it 10 times on your right and come back. Nine, engage your core and don't arch your back here. Make sure you check your hips and keep it stabilized and balanced. So don't shift your hips to one side and lift and bring it down. So six more times with your own breath. Keep breathing, belly button in. And four, lengthen your neck. Three, two, and last one. Inhale up and exhale slowly. Bring it down, stretch your hips from left to right. Now to the other side. I want you to inhale, tuck your feet still. Engage your core, lengthen your neck and bring it up. And down. Balance your hips here. And keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale back. And keep breathing. Use the breath to control the movement. So we're going to do it five more times. And four. Keep breathing. Three. Squeeze in the thighs. Squeeze your butt here. And last one. Inhale. Lift. And exhale down. Shake your hips from left to right. Now from here, I want you to inhale, lengthen your leg here, tuck your feet and exhale, bring it up and down. Engage your core as much as possible. And again, make sure you stabilize your hips here so only your leg is moving up and down. Look to the top of the mat, lengthen your neck and keep breathing here. Squeeze your butt, engage your core. Very good. So five more times. Inhale, lift and exhale down and lift and bring it down still. Activate your foot here, three, two, and last one, slowly bring it down. Bend your knee to the other side, dorsiflex flex with your foot. Now inhale, lift and exhale down. Engage your core as much as possible. And eight, seven, make sure you stabilize your torso, your shoulder on top of your wrist. And five, four, Three, keep breathing, do it slowly down with control. And last one, lift and slowly bring it down. Bend your knees, shake your hips from left to right. Now from here, I want you to inhale, tuck your feet, open your leg here with the part and keep your back neutral. Lift your knees up and exhale, bring it down. 10 times with your own breath and keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Seven. Try to engage your core as much as possible and don't arch your back here. Stabilize your shoulders so your shoulders are on top of your wrist. And you always can make a fist here with your hand if you feel that it's more support with your arms and shoulders. All right, very good. And we try to do it five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and last one, lift and slowly bring it down. Open your knees a little bit wider. Come to try pose and reach your hand forward. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose. 
and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right. Now from here, I want you to inhale, allow yourself to come to own full position again. Now open your leg here with a part, part and eyes and elbows facing each other, shoulder on top, lengthen your neck and inhale, dip your shoulders between your arms and come back. Imagining that you have a pain between your shoulder blades and when you bring your shoulders down, you pin the pain and lift it up. Very good. So keep breathing, engage your core as much as possible. And five, four, three, two, and last time, lift and slowly bring it back to neutral, shake your hips. Now from here, I want you to inhale, keep your hips and your knees together again. Now, point, keep your feet flat and slowly open your leg to your right, come back and 10 times on your right foot. So make sure that you keep your hips stabilized. Inhale deeply, exhale, come back and six, belly button in. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Open and come back. Contract your pelvic floor muscle. Inhale, open and exhale. Bring it back. Make sure you keep your hips stabilized and balanced. Only your leg is open and closed. Beautiful. Keep breathing, squeezing the thighs. Inhale, exhale, come back. Inhale, open and exhale. Bring it back. And five more times with your own breath. Four, keep breathing. Three, press your arms, your palms down to the mat. And last one, slowly bring it back. Shake your hips from left to right. Now from here, I want you to inhale, open your legs here with the part again. Now tuck your feet, inhale, and exhale, bend your elbows. So keep your forearm down to the mat. Lift your hips up, and exhale, bring it down. So lengthen your neck, look to the middle of your fingers here. Inhale, lift, exhale down, engage your core, and lift, and bring it down five more times with your own breath. Keep breathing, and four, three, try to lift your heels as high as you can, I mean your knees as high as you can. Lift, and down, and three, two, and last one, lift, and slowly bring it down back to tripos. Shake your hips from left to right. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Reach your hand a little bit further. And come back. Alright, now from here, allow yourself to lie down on your stomach. So make a pillow under your forehead. Rest your head on and then open your leg hip with the part here. So activate your feet. Inhale and exhale. Bring each leg up. Start to beat your heels 10 times. So shoulder down towards your hips here and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your legs down, shake your hips from left to right. Now from here, I want you to open your arms to 45 degree, press your arms down and rest your head on the mat. Put your shoulder down, press your arm, inhale and bend your knees up. So tuck your toes together and lift your legs up and bring it down. Engage your core as much as possible. And you can lift your head just a little bit above the mat too if you feel that like it's easier for you. Engage your core as much as possible to support your lower back. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale and exhale. Slowly squeeze your back, engage your core as much as possible. And strengthen your back here. So inhale, lift, exhale down. Very good. Five, four, Keep breathing, three, two, and last one. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Lengthen your legs, stretch your hips from left to right. Now put your hand next to your chest, close your elbows to the back, and put your shoulder far away from your ears. I want you to inhale, lengthen your neck. Now put your toes, your torso up, into your core, and exhale, bring it down. Your hips bones stick down to the mat. And your legs press it down, only your torso move up and down here. Lengthen your neck, always look down to the mat. Inhale, lift, and exhale down. Inhale five more times, and exhale through your mouth. Four, three, and two, lift all the way up and down. And last one, lift, and slowly bring it down. Shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now from here, I want to inhale and allow your hand 
under your head again. So, tuck your feet. Inhale, press your shoulder towards your hips and lift one leg up. Exhale, bring it down to the other side. Come back. We try to do it 10 times each side with your own breath. Keep breathing. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. And nine, eight. Belly button in. Stick your hips down to the mat. And five more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down to the other side. Four. Keep breathing. Use the breath to control the movement here. So you don't have to bring your leg too high. Just listen to your body and make sure that you feel comfortable with your low back here. And three more times. Inhale, two up. Exhale, down to the other side. And last time, lift. Down and lift and bring it down. Lengthen your leg, shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now from here, I want you to inhale and slowly bend one knee to 90 degrees. Now this time, I want you to press your hips down to the mat. So belly button in, rest your head on your hand and put your shoulder down. Lift your leg up, slowly move your leg to the side and come back. Make sure your hips still press down to the mat and only your leg is moving here. And keep breathing. And five, four, three, two, and last one. Inhale, lift, exhale, down, bring it down, lengthen and bend to the other side. And we try to lift it again. Open to the side, come back, stabilize your hip and open and bring it back. So a couple more times with your own breath. Keep breathing here, stabilize your hips. And we do it four more times with your own breath. Keep breathing and four, three, two. And last one, open, come back and lengthen. Shake your hips from left to right, very good. Now from here, I want you to inhale, challenge yourself a little bit here. So put your hand next to your chest, tuck the feet, open your leg here with the part. Now lengthen your neck and look down, engage your core as much as soft as possible. Inhale, press your palms, lift your torso and your whole body up and slowly bring it down with your breath and with control. So use the breath to control the movement. We're going to do it five more times here. So inhale, lift, exhale down, inhale up and exhale down, belly button in. Always make sure that your shoulder down towards your hips here. Three, two, and try not to make any tension on your shoulder when you lift it up. And last time, slowly bring it down. Shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now from here, I want you to inhale and bring your hand over your head and your legs lengthen. Activate your feet. So inhale deeply, lift one arm and opposite leg up. Exhale, bring it down to the other side and come back. And we try to do it five more times each side. Feel like someone pulling your legs and your arms away from your hips. And keep breathing. So four, to your left, three, to your left, and two more times. Last time, inhale, lift, exhale down, inhale, lift, and exhale, bring it down. Shut your hips from left to right. All right, very good. Now from here, I want you to inhale and allow yourself to come to tripod position. Open your knees wider, reach a little bit forward, shut your hips from left to right. Inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Slowly come up to sitting position. All right. Now, allow yourself to lie down on your back. So, keep your back in neutral here, hands along your body, and bend your knees, open your leg, hip width apart. So, keep your feet flat, chin to chest, draw your hips each vertebra at a time, down or up to the ceiling, and slowly bring it down. Press your legs down, press your feet down, and I want you to make sure that your legs are parallel, your knees are facing up to the ceiling, chin to chest, and look towards your knee to protect your lower, your neck. And keep breathing, in your core, inhale. And exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift. And exhale, down. Couple more times with your own breath. Keep breathing, inhale, lift. And exhale, down. And three, try to lift as high as you can and bring it down. Now inhale, reach until you feel your booty muscles and exhale, bring it down 
and last time lift and slowly bring it down. Now, bring your legs to 90 degrees, stick your heels and your knees together and lift your head and your shoulder off the mat. So pull your belly button in. I want you to lengthen your arms along your body, palms facing down, activate your feet, stick your low back down to the mat and start to pump in your hand. Inhale five times and exhale five times. So inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Inhale two, three, four, five. And exhale two, three, four, five. Keep doing it with your own breath here. You can make a really long breath if you can, or you can make a very short breath like I did. So pumping your whole arms, not just your wrist, and lift your chest a little bit higher, scoop your belly more, and chin to chest to protect your neck. If you feel tired on your neck here, always use your hand to support your head and open your elbows wider and change to the other side. Keep pumping your arms, activate your feet. So five more breaths here, inhale and exhale. Now, four more challenge on your core, lengthen your legs to 45 degrees. Keep breathing, press your lower abs down, your lower back down to the mat and three. And exhale, squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle, last one. And exhale, and slowly hug your knee to your chest, bring your head and shoulder down, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. Very good. Now from here, I want you to inhale and bring your legs up to 90 degrees, activate your feet, arms along your body and press it down. So bring one leg down to the mat, and exhale, come back, Activate your feet here. Keep the same angle on your knee. So make sure every movement starts from your hips here. And keep breathing. Belly button in. Make sure you keep your back in neutral here and don't arch it. So keep breathing and use your breath to control the movement. Inhale down. Exhale back. Belly button in. And we do it five more times with your own breath to the other side. And four. Keep breathing to the other side. Three, to your left, two more times, to the other side, and last one, inhale, come back to the other side, and bring it back, hug your knee to your chest, inhale deeply, and exhale deeply, and when you're ready, lean on one side to do side kick series, so use your hand to support your head, and bring both legs to the front of the mat here. Bring your hand, the other hand in front of your chest and press it down. Make sure that your hips are not to the front, not to the back, but just on each other. And lengthen your leg, dorsiflex with your feet. Inhale, lift it up just above your hip and exhale, bring it down. We try to do it 10 times. Inhale, lift and exhale down, squeeze your thighs, belly button in. Make sure you press your shoulder down towards your hips. And six, Five, four, keep breathing, three, two, and last one, lift and slowly bring it down. Now lift it up, inhale, bring it to the front and come back. You can soften your knee, your bottom knee a little bit to make it easier for balance. And if you want more challenge or will lengthen it, engage your core as much as possible. Beautiful. So we try to do it seven more times. We're going to do 10 times in total for each movement of the psychic series. And lift, inhale, exhale, come back. Inhale to the front. Make sure your legs are way parallel with the floor and just above your hips. So keep breathing here, in your core and stabilize your hips. Only your leg is moving. All your torso, your hips and your bottom leg stabilize here. Very good. So three more times, inhale. And exhale back, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth, come back to the, and back to the front, and back to the center, bring your leg down. Now from here, I want you to inhale, bring one leg to 90 degree, so dorsal flex, inhale, and exhale, push it to the front, come back, and lengthen, and bring it back to 90 degree. I always want you to keep your leg parallel to the floor, so always try to do that and activate your foot, press your bottom leg down, engage your core to support your lower back here. Make sure you always put your shoulder towards your hips. So we do it five more times. Inhale, bend, exhale, lengthen. 
in her band and exhale lengthen and three keep breathing stabilize your hips two and last time feel like someone pulling your leg away try to reach a little bit more hold it here for three two and one pull your toe to the front three two and one slowly bring your legs down now bend your knees 90 degree here so inhale open your knees wider exhale come back activate your feet imagining that you have a ball in between your thighs here try to squeeze the ball when you bring your leg back and open so contract your pelvic floor muscle really feel the side of your hips is working as well keep breathing and six more times inhale open exhale come back five four three two and last one lift and slowly bring it down shake your hips from left to right now i want you to inhale bring your leg 90 degree and just above the floor again inhale lengthen your leg to the front and come back lengthen always keep your leg parallel to the floor feel your leg is shaking here so we do it six more times with your own breath five four keep breathing in the your core as much as possible two and last one, try to lengthen all the way to the front and bring it back, shake your hips from left to right. And when you're ready, allow yourself to come down to the other side to do side kick on the other side, all right? Now, hands support your head and the other hand put in front of your chest here. Press it down for easier balance. Bring both legs to the front of the mat and dorsi flex with your feet into your core. Lengthen and belly button in. Lift your leg just above your hip and bring it down. Inhale, lift and exhale down in eight more times with your own breath keep breathing seven six squeeze your thighs feel your legs connecting to each other and contract your pelvic floor muscle by imagining that you're trying to stop the urine flow here very good so three more times with your own breath inhale lift exhale down and two keep breathing and last one slowly bring it down and up again now bring it to the front keep it parallel to the floor and to the back inhale and exhale lengthen lift lengthen and to the back so belly button in squeeze in the thighs and engage your core as much as possible to protect your lower back here and to help your torso stabilize here beautiful so make sure that you don't try not to move your torso and three keep breathing two and last time inhale to the front exhale come back and bring it back bring your leg down shake your hips a little bit if you need to now soften your bottom knee a little bit press your palms down still and bring one leg to 90 degree here dorsi flex inhale and exhale lengthen your leg push it away from your hips and come back inhale and exhale bring it back squeeze in your thighs and get your core as much as possible now we try to do it for seven more times with your own breath, keep breathing. Six, stabilize your hips here. And five, four, three more times with your own breath. And two, and the last one. Bend your knee up and exhale, lengthen. Bring your leg down, shake your hips and bring both legs to 90 degree here. Now inhale, open your knee wider and exhale, come back. Make sure that your hips square and your knees square here. Inhale, open. Imagining you have a ball between your thighs. Try to squeeze it in and open. Feel the side of your hips and your inner thighs working here. Very good. And we try to do it five more times with your own breath. Inhale, open. Exhale, come back and four. Slowly with your own breath. Three, two, and last one. Inhale and exhale. Shake your hips from left to right. Very good. Now bring your legs up and now bring your leg up just above your hips and try to lengthen your leg to the front and come back. Inhale, lengthen and exhale. Bring it back. Belly button in. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and we try to do it six more times with your own breath shoulder down towards your hips here and five exhale come back four keep breathing and three more times two and the last one lengthen and slowly bring it back to the center bring your leg down 
shake his from left to right. All right. Now from here, I want you to inhale and allow yourself to come back to on four position again. So put your shoulder far away, eyes on the balls facing each other, and lengthen your neck. So inhale, keep your hips and your knees together, lengthen your leg, one leg to the back. So tuck your feet here, inhale, lift your leg up, and then open your knee to the side, and lengthen, come back, down, up, open, lengthen, and bring it back. Make sure your hips stabilize and balance here. Engage your core to support your lower back and don't arch your back here. So always lengthen your neck and look down to the top of the mat and keep breathing. So we try to do it four more times with your own breath. Inhale, lift. Three. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale, lengthen and down. And two more times with your own breath. Last one. Lengthen, bring it down and bend your knee to the other side. Lift and bend and lift and down. Lift and bend and lift and bring it down. So we try to do it a couple more times with your own breath. Use your breath to control the movement here. Lengthen your neck and look to the top of the mat here. So we don't overextend your neck. And engage your core as much as possible. And six, lift. Bend, lengthen, exhale down. And five more times, engage your core, activate your foot here. Four. Always make sure that your eyes on the elbow rotate towards each other. And four more times with your own breath, keep breathing, engage your core, and contract your pelvic floor muscle. Feel your hips and your butt, your thighs are working here. And last one, inhale, lift, bend, Lengthen and bring it down, bend your knees, stretch your hips from left to right. All right, now from here, open your leg hip width apart, imagining that you have the eye, the tail here. So I want you to wag the tail to one side and come back to the other side and make sure that you always keep your shoulder far away from your ears. Use your shoulder to lead the movement, not your neck. So always lengthen your neck and keep breathing, belly button in, five to your right. Squeeze in the thighs, contract your pelvic floor muscle. And four, to the other side. And three more times with your own breath. Keep breathing, two. And last one, inhale to your right. And exhale back, inhale to the other side. Back to the center, shake your hips from left to right. Now sit up and rotate the wrist here. And reverse. All right, now from here, I want you to inhale and open your knees to one side. So make a line between your heels and your hips here. So open your finger to the other side and eye on elbow, just try to face to the front. Soften your elbows a little bit and shoulder far away from your ears. Lift your waist a little bit more, engage your core. Now inhale, lift your hips as high as you can, hand over head and come back. So we try to do it eight more times. With your own breath, engage your core as much as possible. Six, keep breathing. Inhale, lengthen. Lengthen your waist and engage your core to protect your lower back. Contract your pelvic floor muscle here. And four, three, two more times. Always make sure your shoulder far away from your ears. And last one, slowly come back. Hug your ankle here. Inhale, lean on the other side. And exhale, bring it back. Belly button in and come back. So we try to do it six more times with your own breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring it back. And five, four, three. Belly button in and last one. Try to lengthen and bring it back. Now open your legs to the other side. So your knees wider than 90 degree and make a line between your heels and your hips here. Your finger point to the side of your body, so belly button in, eyes on elbow facing to the front and keep your shoulder far away from your ears, lift your waist a little bit more, inhale and lift and exhale, come back, inhale, lift and exhale, bring it back and six more times with your own breath, belly button in, contract your pelvic floor muscles and squeeze in the thighs, squeeze your butt if you can, so keep breathing, all the muscles engage at the same time. Three more times, inhale, lift, exhale, down, and two, 
and last one lengthen and slowly come back now keep your heels closer towards your hips here hand hug your ankle and lean on the other side lengthen and bring it back make sure you always lengthen your arm and your waist here so inhale deeply and exhale come back inhale to the other side and exhale bring it back so four more times three two and last one inhale lengthen and exhale bring it back very good now cross your leg here hand on your knees and keep your back in neutral and sit tall feel like a string pulling you from the top of the head so i want you to inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and one more time inhale and exhale and slowly open your eyes so that's the workout for today hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you for watching please subscribe if you want to see new workout every single day so thank you bye